Hey everyone, today we are talking performance differences between the original M1 Max chips and the brand new, newly released M2 Max chips. Let's get into it. Now the reason why we're only looking at performance differences is because at least the laptops are exactly the same physically. They have the same body, the same ports, the same screen. The only difference is the brand new chips inside of these, so we are just talking performance differences between these chips. First, let's do benchmark scores. The M1 Max chip had a single core score of 1784 and a multi-core score of 12,783. The brand new M2 Max chip had a single core score of 1967 and a multi-core score of 15,327. So I don't know, we're somewhere in the 12 to 15% better performance from the new M2 Max chips. Now, what really matters is real world performance. I've been running this Max Studio with the M1 Max chip for eight or nine months now. I bought this right when they came out. I use it literally every day. I've edited every video, I've produced every song. It's It's been a game changer for me over the original M1 chip, which I actually just compared the original M1s to the new M2 Max. There's a link down in the description below to go watch that video because that is a massive jump in performance. You're gonna wanna check that out if you're running one of the original M1 machines. But in the real world day to day, I can definitely feel the M2 Max be a little snappier than the M1 Max opening and closing applications, importing photos into Lightroom, scrolling around on 4K timelines in Final Cut Pro, opening and closing Pro Tools sessions and, and playing and scrubbing around. It definitely feels a little snappier. So let's talk about some real world tests between these two. I imported a 10 minute video clip into Final Cut Pro. This is a 4K 24 frames per second, 10 bit 422 video clip right from my Sony a7 IV. And I timed the export of this video. Now the M1 Max exported this video in two minutes and 45 seconds. And the brand new M2 Max exported this video in two minutes and 40 seconds. We're only talking a five second difference here. So that is, that is not actually a lot. Now I also created a Pro Tools session with 120 stereo channels. And on each channel, I put two EQs, two compressors, two versions of lo-fi, two stereo delays, and two stereo reverbs. This Pro Tools session had 240 instances of reverb plugins on it, which is the most CPU intensive plugins that you can use has always been reverbs. So 240 of them is completely unrealistic, but I just wanted to max these max chips out. There's a dad joke for you and see what the CPU performance is. Now there is a link down below to download this Pro Tools session. If you're a Pro Tools user, you can download the exact same session and run it on your machine so you can compare the CPU usage on your machine versus both of these if you're interested in an upgrade. Now with this crazy Pro Tools session, the M1 Max chip uh, had just a little bit over 42% CPU usage with around a 55% sitting idle. Can we just take a second to recognize how insane this is that you can run 240 instances of reverb on a regular kind of run of the mill Apple computer and still have 55% CPU left over. Like things are getting crazy. On the brand new M2 Max, this same Pro Tools session had the CPU usage hovering right around 29%. So it had about 67% CPU usage sitting idle. That is insane. So is it worth the upgrade from the M1 Max to the M2 Max? Now, I think for 99% of people, the answer is no, it's not worth the upgrade. If you're running one of the original M1 Max, I think it probably is worth the upgrade. Again, check that video, link in description to see that comparison. If your primary work is photo and video, I think the difference in power between the M1 Max and the M2 Max is certainly not worth the upgrade. I think if your primary work is audio and you're running lots of virtual instruments and you're consistently maxing out the M1 Max, I just keep doing it. If you're actually maxing the M1 Max out, then yes, this is a more powerful machine that will give you an easier time. And then in only then is it probably worth the upgrade, especially in the laptop form since they're the exact same bodies, same screens, same everything. Don't forget to hit links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh.